Welcome back, this is Tomb Raider 10th Anniversary Edition by Core Design. It's a PSP been transferred to PC. It's broken, they're trying to work on getting it into a working state. So I'm just playing the levels, just one after the other, and um, just showing what what's going on with it. So I don't remember these main, these Carmoon type levels, I don't remember much about them other than there was a cat temple and a couple of sphinxes. This might be done with the underground sphinx on it. I think. Lara, what are we doing? Where are we going? Oh, I've just gone through the wall there. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, this is, um... What are we doing? There's a number of... There's loads of rooms, I don't remember. They had very tall rooms, I think, you had to climb up. Um, I remember the anniversary uh, Crystal Dynamics version, um, very elaborate, with things that poked out of the wall, it's really annoying, I didn't like when they make things go in and out of the walls and that kind of thing, it's like, how do I get out of here then, because, a lot of steam, or smoke, or something, Laura, what are we doing? That looks like that looks climbable there. Does she climb like in um Underworld? I don't think she does. Like goes on a wall and then starts like randomly climbing a wall. That looks like she might get on that, no. That does look like that's climbable, weirdly enough. The older games she would get onto a like you'd be a, a, a path that would be straightforward, relatively straightforward, but with the later games they did a thing where she would just be able to climb a given wall. It's less obvious. I don't know where I gotta go then, so that does not climbable though. She doesn't chimney jump, does she? <laughs> like in Underworld. <laughs> no. Nope. God this was two years for Underworld this was. So I don't know what's um what we've got to do. I can't remember this I don't remember this level so I don't know. We can't be chimney jumping and it can't be um um the way that say Legend or Later did it because this was around the same time or a bit before so There's got to be a way to get up. How the bloody hell do you get up there then? Uh, it's never, I can see there's a, a shimmy spot, but I don't know. Get on that. Is it one of them cryptic type? Oh, she gets on that. Is she meant to stand on that? No. That just looks very something that they go, oh look, let's make a climb up a wall different. No. No, that's definitely not doing it then, so Yeah, I can see up there there's a way to get up there and then that platform's there, so that corner bit, but where the bloody hell's the Climb on these? No. No. Although well, she does interact with objects there, she can stuff sort of stand on bits and pieces with the original she hardly ever stood on anything that wasn't to do with a wall. We didn't do anything that wasn't a lever, but No, I'm not getting that then. <coughs> I'm at a loss, I don't want to give up this level. Is there any way to get up? If you can't climb on them bits there, then... Yeah, there's something up there, but I'm... Oops. 
Yeah, there's definitely... Yeah, you've got to go up, but... I don't remember this room as is, like the actual, in the actual original game, I don't know. They change so many things in terms of what it looks like, it just kind of disguises it. She's not doing that climby thing, like where she runs at the wall. Looking, is that something to do with that? Oh, there's something... Oops. That's the wrong button there. Huh? No, I'm drawn to that corner, but it doesn't really do anything, so she's definitely not meant to climb on that, although it does look suspiciously climbable. What about this? Is there something here? Is there? Oh, okay, yeah, that... Of course, it's the most simplest thing in the room. Really expecting it to be that corner. It looked like it was climbable, but... Right, okay, I know what I'm doing now. I don't remember this room, though, because it doesn't seem familiar to me, but there's not... Don't want to fall off this bloody thing. I keep pressing the wrong button. So she kind of grabs on and then... Oh, can we get on that top bit there? I didn't do chimney jumping or anything like that in these... In this level, be on this game, because it was a bit before that. This oh that's the room with the with the um doors that come down. I remember that one. Right, so that's that level, but it's obviously not gonna work without the um we needed scarab beetles or something? I can't, I can't remember. What do I have to go over? Yeah, this Wait a minute, there was a thing where you went... I do remember a room actually like this, it was um... Yeah, there's something about this, yeah. But it didn't look like this, it was it was a similar layout, but it was... Yeah, and it was a little bit tighter than that, and I don't remember there being an overhang like that, but... Oh, I've got to get this straight. Can't get it straight. Oh, you're not straight. Grab, grab, pull it. And there was nothing to be able to health pack or something, is that it? Keep pressing the wrong button, damn it. Alright. Yeah, it's just pickups in this section here. You think there's like where you want to go, and it's just a side thing. This layout is different from what I got used to the previous one, and then I had to, when I put the X input on it, it changed everything. And I got, Ugh. Oh, where are we going? Do we want to go over here? Oh, there's something over there. And you can't really complete these levels because they're just not implemented. There's no the mechanisms don't work, or um, you need to go underwater and there's no you can't get into the water because it's solid, or you can't exit a room because it was supposed to be full of water. It's that kind of thing. So it's just for the benefit of like showing what they what the level. It's not bad effort. I mean, the in terms of it being like. <coughs> The way that they've got the broken, totally, I think the water's solid, that's funny. They've got it to the point where it's playable, but not, you can't really do anything. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be. There was a level on, um, what was it, 2 4? Where you had to unfreeze water to get access to something, and you had to break a lamp, it was something. And, um... I was stuck on that for ages. I could not work out what I had to do on that one. And that don't think that's what that is. That's just a glitch in the water thing. 
What's this room here then? What's this? A nice touch with the. Um, I think when it's cold, you, you can see a breath, and when you get this kind of steam or smoke or whatever it is, that's interesting because it adds to the ambience of the room. You've got like dusty, dirty kind of areas. Um, I wonder if they're going to turn this into a. They did say that what they're using to make this game. Will that be possible to make? Um, to replace Tomb Raider, I don't need to jump to other walls. Solid. To replace Tomb Raider, TRE level editors, because if they they can get this sort of free freeware or open source or whatever. That would be great because there's no engine, there's no editor for Age of Darkness, Legend, Anniversary or Underworld that was ever released to the public. So unless you want to do Unreal 4, which is the docs demo, and that's very, I don't know how, if it's more complicated or what, I don't know. But as an actual editor, if they could, I don't know if they're going to, I don't know, I have no clue how they make these, but I just play them, I don't know how they work. Well, they didn't release any of the editors for the later games after Tomb Raider 5, so 